Hey y'all, welcome back to Everyday Mama. I'm Leanne, and today I'm going to show you how I took control of my family's command center by creating seven different zones. Let's get started. The first zone is our drop-off zone. Once we come in through the garage, this is our entry bench where we sit down and take off our shoes. There's little cabinets underneath that really help corral those. And we put our most used everyday shoes here. Once we take off our shoes, then we put our jackets and hats away in this closet. We also put our backpacks and purses. We each have our own bin, and I'll put a link in the description box below to show where I got these. These are fantastic because it allows my son to put his stuff in his, and I'm not looking for it in the morning before school. Then on this shelf, we have three little bins that match the bottom bins on the floor. They came as a set. In each one of these is our scarves, hats, and mittens for each person. I can leave them here year round. We get them when we need them. It's been a really big help. After dropping off our shoes and our coats, we then put any incoming mail here. And we drop off our keys, sunglasses, things like that in this drawer. Now, let Wyatt show you how it's done. zone is the action zone. It is the actual countertop in this space. When mail comes in, we put it on the white plate. We process it that day, shredding what we don't want, recycling what we don't want, and then putting the things that we need to file permanently, maybe, up in our temporary file basket. At the end of the month, I go through those again. Do we still need that paper? Do we still need that receipt? And if not, I shred and recycle those, and then I put it in the permanent files in the office. This system has worked really well for my family, and I don't have to stress out about filing stuff every day. Now, on this counter, my son will put his lunchbox, his folder for the day, until I've looked through it, and then he'll put it back in his book bag. Anything that gets broken and that we need to fix, or if there is a paper we need to sign and send back, it goes on this counter and at night I either make sure I have a plan for when I'm going to take care of it or I take care of it and having that mental clutter taken away because the visual clutter is taken away has been so rewarding having it just on a list of something to do I wasn't getting stuff done but having it out on this counter has made a huge difference our third zone is the health and house zone here we house things such as light bulbs, batteries, and also our first aid kits. I just went to the Dollar Tree and got more of those bins that I used in my pantry organization. If you would like to see that video, click on the iCard above or the link in the description box below. We also hang our meal plan for the week right here. If you would like to see that video on how a meal plan for my family, you can click on the iCard above or the link in the description box below. We have a bin for outside protection, such as sunscreen and bug repellent. We have one for candles and batteries. We have one for bandages and scent jars. If you don't know what a scent jar is, I will be doing a two minute tip on that in an upcoming video. And then we have my son's first aid. We have our adult first aid in this one. And then my to be filed basket. I fill it up throughout the month, then I clean it out on the last day of the month, get ready for the next one, shred what I don't need, put in the permanent file upstairs what I do need to keep. This has worked really well to not stress me out during the month. And then if I need to return something, the receipt's there for that month because I usually return it within the first 30 days anyway if I'm not going to keep it. 
Then I have my dog's basket. This is her shampoo, medicine, and her vet reports. Up here, we keep light bulbs. And I love that they can interchange. It doesn't matter where I place them. So during the summer, this outside protection basket usually gets moved down a couple of spots. As part of our health and house zone, we have these two bottom drawers full of office supplies. We found them to be more useful and beneficial to have down here in the kitchen than upstairs in the office. Our fourth zone is the craft zone. We keep things such as our future craft projects, paint and supplies, canvases, fabric, sewing, stickers and ribbon, and then all sorts of kinds of glue. I keep this in the kitchen because number one, there's a lot of space to work on my granite island and it's really good lighting down here. But two, my son uses a lot of these items for his school projects. So it's a great place to keep it. Our fifth zone is the work zone. In the top drawer, we house all of our technology. My son uses this for his school projects. We're able to corral the cords and keep track of his items. The second drawer is all of his school supplies. His after school agenda, his chore list, his extra paper, and a little box of crayons and pencils ready to go for homework time. The bottom drawer is where I keep all of my photography supplies. The sixth zone is our family planning zone. This houses our family calendar, our meal planning pad, and our coupons. It's a really easy way to just pull out the drawer, see what's going on for the day or the month, and then not have visual clutter. Last but not least, our seventh zone. This is our pet zone. We decided not to use this space as a traditional desk, so having that cave space underneath was perfect for our 13-year-old Yorkie named Harley. She loves being under there, cozy in her bed. She has her food and water. It is a perfect place for her. Well, that's it for part four of my new to nested series. I hope you found some ideas and inspiration on how to organize your command center for your family. Until next time, I wish you and your family lots of simplicity, progress, and joy. Bye! <laughs>